Any youngsters in the crowd that are going to be boating for the first time, the 16, 17 year olds? You guys? Yeah. Right, that's a wee message for you guys from an old guy. It's not a lecture, it's a request. Your ma's and your dad's and your papa's and grand's. All your futures were in all our hands. Now it's out of our time, and our time has passed. As we hand over to you, it's your time at last. We ran your world, we thought we could make it a better place. But we blew our chance, didn't seize our day, we let it go to waste. We steered the wrong course, drove a long way round, carried you so far and then let ourselves down. Round and round and round about, getting nowhere fast, scared to try the detour, scared to be alone and get lost. We wound up wandering the Westminster one-way system, wondering where were the exits and why did we miss them? Too many miles around the block, too much time spent in gridlock, too much time in our clock, too many bumps and knocks, too much drifting with the flow, and now I've got nothing to show. So you're no longer in a backseat, we're handing over the wheel. No test run, no theory, no simulation, this is for real. Time for you to take control, because we're handing you the key, putting all our faith in you, and that's the way it should be, because the youth can steer with vision that's clear, stronger drive and higher energy, to navigate your own course, to map out your own history. So harness your power, and with it, the responsibility to take us to a better place, steer us to our destiny. For all the future is in all your hands. All our futures is yours to plan. See, it's never happened in history before that that group of people so often ignored that the teenagers in any land have had the power balanced in their hand. That age group, demonised, utilised and victimised, disenfranchised, marginalised and ostracised. That age group, wound up, put down, fobbed off, pissed off, left out, missed out, blown off, written off. That age group used and abused by those that ruled, by the movers and shakers, by the users and takers. But now there's this groundbreaker where you're the deal makers, the judge and jury and panel, the history makers and in fodder, being used by kings and their cronies, young plentiful powerless pawns, just bairns, just boys, just laddies, just common men and common men's sons. Our lassies born and trained to serve at counters and mansions and tables and tills. Know your place and mind your manners, hey, and keep your station, there's a good girl. It was young Scots who got conscription letters through the door. It was young Scots who sailed and flew and marched off to the war. It was young Scots who worked in the wartime in factories making arms. It was young Scots who fed the country working in wartime farms. It was young Scots who get sent away to get killed just to make our lives safer. Now no young Scots need to lay down their lives. Just wee marks on wee bits of paper. Yeah! It was young Scots that were the conscripts. Now it's young Scots that will write the script. Nowadays, not enough jobs, not enough housing and constant competition, temperamental workplace conditions, temporary working positions, knocking on doors, chasing unreachable on-target earnings, graduates underemployed, stifled from using your learning, maybe get some odd work in a shitty zero-hour contract, then sacked in an instant, nay rights, nay pay and nay comeback. Make them think again, then homewards, you can send them. You're the bosses now, so please, boss this referendum. Fix this land of half and half knots. Young Scots, call the shots!